I have a show on 99 Jams um, that highlights local artists mm -hmm. in South Florida, in the yeah. state of Florida. Yeah. It's called Cosign. And I realized, like, throughout the years that I've been doing it, I realized that artists, these local artists, a lot of them are actually living what they are rapping about, being 100%. locked up, um, yes. just the hardships, just everything. And then it's like all of a sudden, not overnight, but through hard work, they become known and mm -hmm. famous and their music has put them yeah. on another platform. But they still got the same things when they was on the block, yeah. those same issues, those same beefs back in their neighborhood, yeah. those same stuff. And they, they, they talk to me about it and say they find such difficulty separating the two because even though they're trying to move on and separate yeah. but they still got to keep their friends tight they got to deal with the stuff that they were doing before yeah. how do you feel about that statement that i'm saying nah man it's, it's 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 tough you know what i mean it's definitely you know it's harder than than it seemed you know what i mean it seemed easy like you 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 know you you famous now you you get you out now no. like it's it's <laughs> You know, some of these guys, a lot of these guys, man, is like really, really outside, really tapped in. And you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, you know, you know, you got to, you know, respect the cold if you know what that, that life about. You know, it's cold. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they live by it. You know what I'm saying? And stand by it. So, you know, my advice to the young bros, man, that's doing their thing is just, man, when you when you're getting in this business, man, you just got to know. You know, you coming from the streets, you gotta know what to what to take with you and what to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You gotta know what to bring with you and what to leave out, man, because you know, we you're doing business now. You know what I mean? You're becoming a brand. You're becoming, you know, bigger than the hood. You know, you know, mm -hmm. bigger than you know, you you creating generational, you know what I mean, wealth and, and, and changing lives, whether you know it or not. So yeah. we gotta keep you here until the and so the bros that's around, you know, that 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 keep their guys with them and all that stuff, man. You know, we gotta understand, man. Like, we even gotta. I'm saying we as like the guys that's around our team, our homies. Like, mm -hmm. we as the homies, man. We gotta we gotta protect the brand. You know what I'm saying? Protect the bag. That means that even part. if we gotta switch up how we move and everything, just to you know what I mean. Prevent a lot of this, you know. It's just it's just things we can do a lot different, but we got to change the mentality first. You know what I mean? I love that you said that because now that the celebrity is a celebrity, the crew also has a responsibility have, as well. Exactly, <laughs> to protect that mm -hmm. brand, not just being on go time all the time, but yeah. also, you know, being conscious of, like, what, what, what you're doing or what you're saying or whatever. Because, like, bro, we don't need to be getting involved in that. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And this is definitely one of those interesting topics that need to be brought up more. You know, if you ever followed your local artists and they was on the verge of blowing up and, you know, they get caught up in some shit or they get killed, that seems to be the scenario that happens too often. Like all the local artists that I know that was gonna make it or they had a strong grip on the community. Either them boys end up getting them or, you know, they end up in the grave. So, you know, I definitely uh, think you know, you got to find a way to balance the streets and, you know, getting put onto the rap game and whatnot. You know, obviously a lot of dudes is going to be hustling in order to support their music career. But at the same time, if they rapping about hustling, you know, it puts them in jeopardy. So I definitely can understand that. And, you know, I just say, yo, if you can stack up and, you know, find a way to clean the paper off, you know, go for it. Because it's only a matter of time for they get you if you got one foot in. So, you know, that's a given. You know, that's just my opinion. And let me know if you feel similar or whatnot. So if you like the videos, you know what to do. Like and subscribe.